So let us show examples of groups. Let us begin with sets that are infinite. So a group is a set of elements and a binary operation denoted by this. This is how we denote a group. So a group is always a set and the operation we apply on the elements of that set. So it is a set and a binary operation such that these properties are satisfied. Associativity, the existence of an identity element and the existence of an inverse element. So we shall identify if the set and the binary operation given in this table is a group. Okay, how about this? So what do we have here? We have the set of real numbers and our binary operation is addition. Is it associative? Yes. Okay, so that, uh, that means it's a, it's a check mark, you know. Uh, I cannot find a check mark in the insert bottom of Microsoft PowerPoint, so I'm just using this. Does it have, does it have uh, an identity element? Zero is the identity element. Okay, so again, yes, it has an identity element and it is zero that is the identity element. How about inverse element? Let's say, for example, I have a real number. Does it have an inverse in the set of real numbers under the operation of addition? Yes, again. Okay, so let's say, for example, your, your real number is negative 0 0.25. So what must you add to negative 0 0.25 so that you will obtain the identity element? Okay, so that is our definition of the inverse. An element plus its inverse is equal to the identity element. And we know that to be 0 0.25. That is the inverse element for negative 0 0.25. And this is true. This is true for all elements in the set of real numbers. The set of real numbers under the operation of addition is a group. How about the set of natural numbers? Is it a group? And, no. How about the set of natural numbers and the operation of addition? Okay, so again, a group is a set and an operation, in particular, a binary operation. Is the operation of addition associative in the set of natural numbers? Yes. Does it have, a, uh, does it have an identity element? None. Okay, so the identity element for addition is zero, but zero, zero is not to be found in the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers begins with 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. So the set of natural numbers is the same as the set of positive integers. Of course, it does not have an inverse element for its uh, elements, and so the set of natural numbers under the operation of addition is not a group. How about this? This is a set that pertains to the set of whole numbers, you know? The set of whole numbers is the set containing 0 and the positive integers. So this is the set of whole numbers. Is this a group under the binary operation of addition? Well, is addition associative? Yes. How about the identity element? Does it have the identity element? Well, now it has because we included zero. But how about the inverse element? Can you, uh, given a positive integer, can you find the inverse of that positive integer here under the binary operation of addition? Okay, so you need a negative integer for that. And this one does not contain a negative integer. So this one is not a group. How about this? The set of integers under the operation of addition. Yes, the addition is associative. We have the identity element. And now, yes, for every integer, we can find its 
inverse also in the set of integers. The set of integers under the operation of addition is a group. 